Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome back to Bill's Man Cave. Well, I gotta say, this West Coast IPA turned out pretty good. Quite pleased with it. But today I'm here to talk about where we are with the Dakota Bill. So, hit a bit of a roadblock. Um, turns out all the cab mounts were completely rotted out. So, um, I decided to apply a Canadian solution and throw hockey pucks at it. So, this is how you can make your own hockey puck uh, cab mount. Start with two normal hockey pucks. I bought a pack of 12 of them for less than 30 bucks, a crappy Canadian made. So, uh, first you start with a 7 8 hole saw. Double check that. Yeah, 7 8 Drill the two of these out. So, I have a drill press and uh, the inner circle was the same diameter as the hockey puck. So, what I did was I C clamped a couple 2x4s in place to create this uh, fixture so I could keep this thing consistent and uh, roll through these. First, drill a couple 7 8 holes. this. This is to match the diameter of these plates. So this is the rear one. That's the front one. These go under the cab and the mounts slide over it. So here's the factory design. These are fucked. So one over like this and then this fit into here and then this whole thing is clamped together like so. So I decided to make one that works like this. little uh, part of rubber. This is a little more solid. Um, this is more like, it's vulcanized rubber, but this is more like the polyurethane bushings you'd usually see. So anyway, back to the story. So you drill your 7 8 holes, and then what you do is with the other one, you take a uh, inch and 3 8 hole saw, and you drill one of these pucks again. So what you're left with is this core that came out of it and a puck with a large hole in it. So you need this piece. Take the other puck and you want to drill a countersunk um, inch and a quarter hole. So what you do is you take the first puck here, pop it on your uh, mouth. So I'll use this big one. This is the front one. Put it on. Pop your sleeve on it. Then take your hole saw, your uh, inch and a quarter hole saw, and then just mark it with a sharpie right there. So that's how far you want to countersink it. Basically drill until you hit the marker hole and then uh, take a sharp knife and just cut the, uh, the bit out of there. doesn't have to be perfect. squeeze on there. I was considering just kind of gluing it all together with some silicone or urethane or something like that. So 
Then that'll go on nice and easy like. There you have it. Hockey puck cab mounts, less than 30 bucks with a little bit of elbow grease uh, versus 100 bucks for the energy suspension ones. And um, since I had to re-weld all new uh, perches on all four corners, I could go with whatever diameter I want. So basically, um, just has to be big enough um, for this. Basically, this is like a locating pin. So drill this uh, should be an yeah, inch and three eighths hole. Wait, no, hang on. No, you want it to be about the same diameter so it fits snug. So you want to drill the inch and a quarter hole in the uh, new uh, mounts that I've made on the frame rail of the truck. So there you have it. Um, you can try this for yourself, although I wouldn't recommend it.